<laughs> what the fuck, man? Look at my suit. What's wrong with you? Watch the jacket. You hold him tight, you pussy fart. Pussy fart? I'm holding him as tight as I can. What do you think? <laughs> That's enough. You know, it doesn't cease to amaze me what a genius I've become at creating these things. And it didn't come easy. It takes years of research, experimentation, and finally execution. And result? The Alberto Special. Mm. Oh, you what? I'm gonna let you have a little sip. Just a little sip. So you see how good this thing is. Abre la boca. Little sip. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, good, huh? Back to business. You know, it amazes me how after five years working for me, you don't know anything about me. He didn't betray me. He didn't betray me. That's funny, because my close associates say you did. And you have the guts and the balls or whatever is left of them to stand here and say you didn't. Do I look like an idiot? Don't answer that. Because you obviously do. You know, maybe getting older. But the clicker's still working. You know? Let me tell you something. Nobody. Nobody. Betrays me. I live to talk about it. Nobody. Last call. Get that clean. Thanks, boss. Oh, oh this is good stuff.
Nunca había visto tanta grasa en el cabello de alguien. Yo lo que sé es tanto brillo. Me va a dejar ciego. Horatio, good to see you again. How long have we met here now? Fucking Bendejo's always wasted our time with some bullshit. <laughs> Amazing no one ever found this place. <laughs> it's like it's hidden from the earth. <laughs> good for us, right? We're in a hurry. Yeah. Yeah, man. I understand. What have you been doing with yourself lately, Horatio? Getting laid a lot or what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this is our last deal. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, man? After five fucking years, you decide you just don't want to deal with me anymore? What kind of bullshit is that? Times are tough. I'm too expensive. <laughs> too expensive? What the fuck do you think this is? Wall Street? We're underground businessmen, Horatio. We need to stick together or, or we all fucking fall. You understand? Sorry, that's just the way it is. Oh. That's the way it is, huh? So what the fuck do I tell Mongol, hmm? That you found another client because we're too expensive? Yeah. You know what? Your father. He would be really disappointed in you right about now. Don't you ever say another word about my father again. Yeah, tough guy, right. Let me tell you something. You're nothing like your father. He was honorable and did the right thing, unlike you. I'm warning you. Ooh, yeah! I'm shaking like a leaf! Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, man. Eres una vergüenza para su padre. Go ahead, T-Rex. Say another fucking word about my dad. Go ahead. Why don't you stop being a maricona and be a fucking professional? And I will say another word about your dad. I know who fucking killed him. How's that? Yeah. Over 20 years ago. You were what? 
six, seven years old. From what I remember, he always wanted to find his killer, right? How come you never told me about this before? Word just got out. I just found out. Yeah? Who was it? No. It doesn't work that way, my friend. We have some choices here. First choice is you pull that trigger. They shoot each other, and if my guys don't die, they'll shoot you. <laughs> you and I both damn well know these clowns aren't fast enough for me. Well, that don't matter. Because it's still gonna be a big fucking mess. But then you have choice number two. You continue to work with me for a bit longer, and I'll give you a lead on your father's killer. Your choice. Deal? I'm waiting. He was known as Big D. He was present at a deal gone bad almost 30 years ago. Shootout broke out and your dad got shot by Big D. Where is he? Some say he left a life of crime and moved out of state. Where? I don't know. But I can send you to someone who might. Come in. I'm sorry to interrupt your class, Professor. Oh, that's okay. Come in. But Dr. Peters instructed me to give this to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. How have you been? Okay. Good. Class, I think it would be appropriate at this time to say good morning to Professor Broderick. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see morning, what we have class. here. Oh, the Honorary Achievement Awards. Been invited again this year. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Did they give it to you, too? Will you be attending? Oh, they gave it to me, all right. Just like they give it to me every year. Not in the same manner that they give it to you. But... <laughs> I'm sure it's just a matter of time. They'll send you an invitation. Well, I gotta get going now, and... I have one more to deliver. To Madeline Graham, in the class next to yours. Well, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Thanks again. Good luck. Boy. Okay, where were we? Uh, Rome, and the fall of Rome. Can anyone tell me what caused the collapse? Thank you. Almost 11. Is he still out? You know, James, you're going to have to come to terms with the fact that your son is almost an adult. Yeah, almost an adult, dear. Almost. He's not quite an adult yet. I mean, come on. We both know what these kids are into out there. Why do you always think the worst? <sighs> because, well, I mean, you know why. Why don't you just relax and go to sleep? Oh. Well, speak of the devil. Hey, Dad. 
Do you own a watch? What? I would like you to tell me the exact date and time that I said it was okay for you to stay out this Then I told Mom and she said it was all right. Really? What are you on? Nothing. I can see it on you. Now tell me right now, what are you on? Dad, what are you talking about? I'm on nothing. Chris, don't lie to me. Okay? I can see it on you. I can see it in your eyes. Now fess up and tell me the truth. Come on. What's going on? I'm waiting. Dad, I'm not you! So you like movies? I do. Who's your favorite actor? I love Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, uh, well, when he was jumping on the couch, what, uh, it was on... Um, with Oprah. Oprah. Uh, what's that movie he was in with the guy? Rain Man. Rain Man. Do you like Martin Scorsese? I do. OK. Have you seen Goodfellas? I love Goodfellas. I do this very well. Hang on. <clears throat> Who am I? Hey. Joe Pesci. No, you try again. Ray Liotta. All right, have you seen um, Analyze This? I have not. Okay, uh, have you seen The Fockers? Yes, I have. Thank you. Uh, okay. Same guy. He looks the same in all his movies. Here we go. <clears throat> Robert De Niro. All right. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you want to... Um... No, I really need to get going. Okay. Good evening, gentlemen. What can I get for you? I'd have a beer. Do you want that in a bottle or a draft? Envelope? Make it a draft. draft okay. And for you, sir? All the same. What's the matter? Have you ever seen a woman dance naked before? Not as many as you have, I'm sure, Mr. Rico Suave. There's only one true Latin lover, and that was my dad, Mario. All the ladies would just, <laughs> they'd melt in his presence. Wow, Colombian, right? Half, the other half Dominican. Oh, you are a crazy fucking mud, aren't you? Hey, isn't your mom Italian? Yes, she is. You know, come to think of it with jeans like that, I might just be the greatest Latin lover there is. <laughs> Go, Thank you. Well, then, to Latin lovers. Latin lovers. Salud. Sir. Where's Elliot tonight? He is still here, is he not? Is something wrong? Let's go get it. So, uh, how often do you think you want to work? Don't answer that. Just. Continue with the interview. Stop, stop, stop. What? So sorry, Mr. Elliot. There's a couple of gentlemen outside and they would like to see you. 
What is my rule for you when you interrupt me at work like this? Your rule is that I have to finish what she didn't. I'll see you when we lock up. Yes, Mr. Elliot. Happen a big D. Who are you? <sighs> you know, I really hate it when my questions are answered with other questions. Don't you hate that? Wait, shh. Look, guys, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Big D, almost 30 years ago. Remember? I don't know anybody by that name. Really. You're a terrible liar. I'm telling you, I, I, I really don't know. What the fuck do you want? I think you know what I want. Where's Big D? I, I told you before, I don't know. <laughs> I told you before. You're a bad liar. Ah! Ah! Next ah! one goes through your brains ah! if you don't start talking. Ah! the rocket 30 years ago. Where'd he go? <coughs> uh, somewhere, somewhere down Miami way. Uh, uh, ah, uh, the, the grove. About 30 years ago, uh, this deal went bad. A few guys, a few guys got killed. A few got killed? 
You know, one of those few is my father. You're that... You're that little kid. It's you. You're... You're Horatio. You're... Your little Horatio. Yeah, not so little anymore. Yes! What is it, Chris? Um, uh, you got something from State Farm and they approved my scholarship. I'm going to Miami. Oh! Mm, that's no. great. Mm. I'm sorry, it's elastic. No, it's fine, but mm. I mean, this. This way, I mean, you don't have to pay for anything. It stays for you. Look, son. You gonna slap me again, Dad? No, I'm not. I owe you a huge apology. You know, hate was never my thing. It's just the thought of my kids doing any kind of drugs, it just sends me ballistic. You're right. In my day, I was pretty bad. Worse than that. That's exactly Dad, no, why see, I don't want you to be I would never way. do that. Regardless of what others and my friends are doing right now. I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is awesome. No, this is <laughs> it, Dad. I'm telling you, this is why I'm going to be a very popular and prominent attorney one day. I know you will. I know you will. You'll see. <laughs> that when you become this famous attorney, you'll put away all the drug dealers you encounter. <laughs> okay, Dad. No, I'm serious. All right, Dad. Okay. All right. No, this, this, really, this really got me thinking. Um, About what? How you hit like a little girl. <laughs> Good dad, you're fine. All right.
is terrible. The place never changes. You grew up here, didn't you? Yeah, a little Havana. Listen, we need to take care of some business while we're here. I know. How are we gonna find this guy? <laughs> we'll find him. How long can a rat hide until you stomp the motherfucker? It's been a long time. Kid, is that really you? The one and only. Wow, it's really been a long time. To what do I owe the honor? I need your help, Alberto. I can't discuss it over the phone. You need my help. Well, you know, for you, I always have time. Are you in town? I'm in town, Alberto. Why don't you come over to my place? You know where I'm at, right? Washington and Biscayne. You can't miss it. It says Alberto's right on the top. That here you can put her away. My mother's house. Your mother's house? Yeah, my mother. I fucking forgot you had a fucking mother. Of course I have a mother. What the fuck does it matter with you? Mind waiting here? Mom!
Well. Sorry, Mom. So fucking sorry. What's going on, man? She's dead. What are you talking about? She's dead. She's been dead a long time. Shit. She was a good woman. You know, her whole fucking life was a struggle, and then she dies alone like a dog, and no one even fucking notices. You think she was killed? I swear, we're gonna get whoever did this, man. Yeah, she was killed. We killed her. <laughs> Man, he was losing every single hand. I'm telling you. Even when he thought he had the, the nuts, he was losing every single hand. How about that, huh? <laughs> he couldn't win that. You should have seen his face. <laughs> Kid, look at you. Last time I saw you, you were practically in diapers. <laughs> you look good, kid. You look good too, Alberto. Good to see you. Likewise. You know, this calls for a special celebration. Tonight, dinner and drinks on me. Eddie, where are you? Alberto, we can't stay. What do you mean you can't stay? I want to show you some hospitality. Come on. Look, I understand that and I appreciate it, but we could do that anytime. I really need your help here. You need my help. We at least talk about it over drinks. Hmm? Yeah, sure. What would you like? I got anything. Come on. Anything, Alberto. Eddie, dame tres Alberto specials. You don't like this. My own creation. It's okay. What brings you to town? I understand that my father's killer is still alive and living here in Miami. What makes you think so? Got my connections. I'm sure you do, kid, but that deal where your father got killed in Chicago it was a long, long time ago. Hey, okay, here we go. Three Alberto specials. You can put a little bit more on that, Eddie. Come on. Don't be cheap. Come on. One for you. One for you. It's Alberto special. Try it and tell me what you think. Huh? This is for your father. Salud. Salud. What do you think? Jesus Christ. 
What about my father, Alberto? Gee, kid. We're in a dangerous kind of business here. Your father and you, uh, you just happen to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I know all that, Alberto. I don't need a fucking history lesson here. I just need to know where his killer is. Hey! Don't you raise your voice at me. I bring you to my place of business. I show you some hospitality precisely because of your father. So don't give me that shit. You understand? You understand? I understand. I just want to find this fucker. Enjoyed the show. What do you want, man? See, so you're good at fucking people. You work for Alberto, right? I got his money, man. Let's gonna pay him back tomorrow. Yeah? Where is it? Hold on, I'll get it for you. Don't bother.
haven't seen a thing. Do you... Do you have a girlfriend? I would like to welcome you all this evening to this very special event. Five years ago, Dr. Peters, whom you all know is no longer with us, was instrumental in starting this marvelous event, which honors our top educators. <laughs> Professor Madeline Graham, Yes, indeed. We are so proud of your contributions to our university. I just want to say that Dr. Peters and I go back a bit. I think it's wonderful to be appreciated for the work that we do. And I really don't know what else to say. I'm actually quite speechless. Thank you so much. Well, I left school early because I had to get home because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna talk about anything right now. It's just kind of a stressful time. I got a lot of, I got a lot of shit going on. I really don't wanna deal with this. Alright, well, when you grow up and you start being mature, you can give me a call back. Other than that, leave me alone and stop bitching at me, okay? Just cool off. Drive. Turn when I tell you to. I won't blow your head off. Now, our next educator has been with us for six short years. During that time, he has received this award for three consecutive years. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Professor James Earl Medina. Thank you. Thank you all very much. I'm very, very pleased to be here today and uh, very honored to receive this award for the uh, third consecutive year in a row. Uh, and I, I do so on behalf of my fellow colleagues who have also worked very, very hard to achieve these goals. And I would also like to say that I'm especially honored and pleased to have my loving family with me here today, most of them. <coughs> Um, as you all know, that what we're doing here is striving to achieve the highest level in education, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, it relies on the efforts of many, many people, including volunteers and individuals from our community, so I would also like to thank them as well for their efforts. And remind you that this program's main purpose is to keep our young away from the greatest threat facing our society today, which is the use and distribution of illegal drugs. Thank you all very much. Oh, and uh, please be careful driving home today. There's a severe weather system coming in. Thanks again. And on behalf of the university and all of us, I would like to thank you very much for coming this evening. And I also would like to thank our honorees.
Where's Chris? Is he usually home by now? Yeah, usually. I don't know. Maybe he's at the Martins. I'll call the Martins and see if he's there. He's not at the Martins. How old are you, kid? Is that 17? 17. Did you know your father was a big drug dealer? No. Because your father, Professor Drug Dealer, killed my father. trigger. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry too, kid. Did your son have a recent argument with either of you? No. No. And he always comes home right after school. He never goes anywhere without calling us first. Okay, I'll get the report in, but you do understand that a person's only considered missing after 24 hours. You gotta be kidding me. That's ridiculous. Did you hear that, honey? They're, they're not gonna look for him right away, and he could be hurt. I mean, the policy is there because in most of these cases, the person shows up within that time frame. Hey, now, if he doesn't show up, a detective will be assigned to the case. Rules are rules. We know you need to follow them. Thank you for your time, officer. You're welcome. Good night. Rules are rules? Look. Cops are not going to be able to help us with this one. What do you mean? I think I know what this is all about. Hello? Dad? Chris. <sighs> Where are you? Chris? Chris! Big D. Where's the professor, Big D, now? Who is this? Let's just say you were an acquaintance of my father. 
was before he blew his fucking face off. You remember that, Big D? What do you want with my son? Oh, you know what they say. Revenge is a bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Let him go! Oh, like you let my father go, right? Don't you do that, you little punk! Face me like a man! Yeah, now you got the idea, Big D. It's you that I'm after. Fine. Let him go. Oh. Sorry, Big D, it doesn't work like that. See, now your son has to pay for my sins. Same way that I paid for yours. I didn't kill your father! Okay, there was bullets flying all over the place back then. Your father, fucking liar! Alberto saw you shoot him right in the fucking face. Now, you and your son will pay for it. What is going on? That was, that was 30 years ago. How is this possible? Look, listen to me. I want you to go to your mother's house I... for a couple... No, no, listen to me. I want you to take Megan, go to your mother's house for a couple of days. Okay? okay. I'll handle this. Okay. Megan! Megan! What? Come on. Come on, don't ask questions. We've got to go in here and get it back.
There you go, Professor. Good as new. Yeah. Didn't start. You fixed the starting problem? Oh, yeah, yeah, I fixed the starting problem. So you had a relay. It's attached to wire, it goes to your computer, goes from the computer into your starter, from okay, the starter right. into just, the I battery. I just need to know, is it gonna start when I go to start it? Sure it's gonna start. It, it's not starting, I thought you said it would start. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, all right? I, I'm just in, a, I'm in an incredible rush. I, I'll fix it. Hey, Stevie, move that thing! I was gonna go to his house tonight. The feeling plans might change. What do you mean? He's coming here. <laughs> Knows about this place? Father used to always talk about this guy. Not how slick he is. He's a very smart criminal. <laughs> That's something a smart criminal, eh? <laughs> Only a matter of time until he reaches Alberto. And I'll come here. It's a damn shame to see my mother like that. Yeah. Hey, Horatio. Let me ask you something. If he comes here today, are you ready for him? <laughs> Been ready for him my whole life. Looking for someone? What? I said you're looking for someone. Oh yeah. As a matter of fact, I am. What the hell was that? Sounded like gunshots. Go check it out. Go! Now!
uh, dropped your gun. So scared, Alberto. I'm not scared. No? Put the gun down on the bar. Do it now. Turn around. Why? Because I'd like to talk to you. Turn around. Don't shoot me. <laughs> I'm unarmed. <laughs> Haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. I take it as not a social visit. I know it was you who led Horatio to my family. Why would you do something like that? What are you talking about, man? I wouldn't do that to you. I, I know you left the business. I, I respect you for what you've done. I, I wouldn't do that to you. You were never a good liar, Alberto. Where did Horatio take my son? Your son? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't. I'm not going to ask you again. Say goodnight. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I had nothing to do with it, I swear to God. But they, they took him to a, a place called the cave. Scrap metal yard. Down 8th Street by the, by the glades. I had nothing to do with it, okay? knew all of this. You just let it happen! Oh, big thing, please! Hold on! I swear to God! Look! Look, I, I want to leave this business too, just like you did. Okay? I swear. That's, that's why I bought this place, man. I'm leaving the business. Let's, let's relax. Let, let, let's sit down and talk, okay? Relax. Let, let's have a drink. I'll, I'll, I'll make you a drink. I make something real good called the Alberto Special. Okay? Can I get you an Alberto Special? No thanks. Kid. You lying? Yo, you're here, man. I'll go get the stuff.
sí, sí, siempre está. Es el tipo de amigo mío, tú sabes, yo no sé, tú sabes. Siempre está tarde. Y este es otro canal. Siempre con los locales, esto. Está cabrón. La próxima la cogemos nosotros. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, porque tú estás. Sí, no está grabando. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Horatio, me glad to see you back in Miami. Glad to be back in Miami. You get the goods? Of course. Hey, how is that? What the fuck was that? Just relax, guys. Who else is here? Horatio? Huh? Nobody's here but us. Calm the fuck down. Hey man, relax. <laughs> Where you get these fucking guys from? This guy is crazy. <laughs> the fuck you got tied up in there, Horatio? Oh, that. <laughs> That's personal. Personal? <laughs> He's got a guy roped up in there. Yeah. <laughs> what, does he owe you? Goddamn right he owes me. The fucker's dad killed my father. It was almost 30 years ago. Oh shit. Why not you uh, kill him, right? One eye for an eye? <laughs> like I said, that's personal. But to answer your question, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking kill him. You look like your father. <laughs> Big D. You said there was no one else here, Horatio. Sorry to interrupt your business here, gentlemen, but I'm here to get my son. <laughs> no big D, I'm disappointed. I'm much smaller in person. You were what? Five last time we met? Yeah, that sounds about right. Before you killed my father, right? Wrong. Now let my son go and nobody will get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no one will get hurt. <laughs> Did you forget how to count, Professor? Look around. All I see are targets. <laughs> All right. Look. I heard enough comedy. You need to get your ass out of here so we can continue with our business. I'm not leaving without my son. <laughs> Fuck you and your son.
Come on in, Big D. Been a long time. I don't know who really killed your father. Looking at him. No. That's wrong. It was a long time ago. But I remember. I was hiding behind this black caddy. Bullets were flying everywhere. It was chaos. My father was standing right in front of me with his gun pointed at me. He was going to blow my brains out. Shot went out, but it wasn't his gun. Came from behind me. Grazed my rib cage and hit your father right in the face. Yes, it's true. Look. See? And I turned around. See who shot us. The only person standing there was Alberto. So you're revenging the wrong person! Fucking liar! Okay, just let my son go. This is between you and I. <laughs> let him go? <laughs> you're fucking kidding, right? You said your beef was with me. He's got nothing to do with it. He has everything to do with it. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You like westerns? What? Do you like fucking westerns? What are you talking about? Because of me? I grew up on him. Before you killed him, my father and I would watch him all the time. <laughs> and we'd always root for the bad guy. My favorite part... <laughs> my favorite part was the standoff at the end. Oh, God, if I had only lived back then, I'm telling you, I'd have beat them all. I'm faster than all of them. Are you insane? What do you think you are, Billy the Kid or something? No. I'm faster. <laughs> hey, I haven't done that one in a while. Yeah, nice trick. Let's talk about this. Enough talk! What are you doing? It's gonna be Big D. Yeah, don't.
Ed, don't, don't do it. How'd you have to choose this route? Because Big D, some things just go. He wasn't that great a shot after all, huh? It's not. Okay. Wait. But you killed it. Vanity. Vanity killed that guy. All right, listen. I'm going to go get the car. Just stay here, all right?
Okay. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Holy shit. I'm gonna get you home. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? Well, you remember all that stuff I said about you hitting like a girl? Yeah. Forget it. Shit. Come on. You got a bad shot. I mean, you were right in front of him. But I got a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. 